Hey folks, how's it going? Tomorrow's a big day, September 11th. Um, and um, so remember September 11th, never forget. We have 20 more minutes to go. And um, yeah, I figured I wanted to uh, to start a tag. You know, um, let's go with it. Where were you September 11th, whenever shit hit the fan that day? Where were you at? I know you know, and everybody remembers that day pretty pretty high uh, clearly so um where were you at what were you doing just discuss it and um you know it's um nine years after the fact and it was a fucked up day and it changed everything uh who knew <laughs> i'll tell you my uh, september 11th story i was in rotc back in high school and we were on the rifle range and um we were shooting a little bb guns you know and um, Colonel Osborne, the the company commander of the ROTC, came comes running out. He's old as fuck. He comes running out of the building, a few hundred yards away. And Sergeant Vines looks up. He's like, Colonel Osborne, Colonel Osborne, he's running real hard, guys. There's something, there's something, there's something wrong, guys. Colonel Osborne, he's coming up. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Everybody attention, everybody attention. So we get out of attention and um, Colonel Osborne's like at ease, at ease, uh, you know, some shit went down and somebody hit the World Trade Centers with the planes and um, they're on fire and um, they're thinking they could collapse and um, so come on back inside. So we get back inside and um, just everybody's quiet and um, just a lot of tears going around. That's pretty much the main thing. It was tears. So the whole school was just like just engrossed watching what was on TV. And we made it back in time, just in time enough to catch Towers Fall within like 10 minutes. And people were jumping out of buildings. And um, that's a lot to soak in whenever you're 16 years old. <laughs> um, something that we as Americans never expected could happen. And people were just jumping out of the buildings and, you know, paper flying everywhere and then they collapsed just and um oof I remember just this shock, this shiver coming through me. And it just everybody felt it. Everybody had that same emotion. Just like, wow. And uh, it was over to intercom. The principal said, um, you know, there's been an attack on America. And, um, you know, let us never forget this day. Everybody just remain calm and be cool. Everything should be all right. And, um, you know, we'll try to get everybody out of school a little bit early today. I remember Sergeant McKenna sitting there and he was watching it. He was quiet. And just after the towers collapsed, after a few minutes, after all the aftermath of it, he just sat there and he just said, um, get ready for war. <laughs> this, this today is going to be the day that, that it's going to change everything. This is not just a day that you won't be able to forget. This is a day that you, you're going to have no choice but but to remember. Because um, nothing's ever going to be the same again. And he, he was right. He was right. And um, being young, I never, I never um, imagined that it would take such a deep impact. You know... I was still young. I just wanted to be free and have fun. And um, that's whenever. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Um, I hope everybody's been having a great day. Um, as far as me, yeah, sure. <sighs> Tired as fuck. Um, got a bruised lip. And uh, bruised elbow. Oh, 
shit like that. Valiant Thor played last night, and they got moshed. Got moshed around a bit. And, uh, yeah, fucking A. Never drink Sailor Jerry's. Don't do it. Sailor Jerry's is awful. Um, it's really good tasting. It tastes like caramel. It's a rum, but it's going to have you pretty much just inebriated. <laughs> and just woo, and you cannot recover. <laughs> just been lots of milk and water today. That's for sure. Um, I went ahead and got a tattoo last night. Um, busted bad and got a tattoo. Something I've been wanting to do. I've always wanted a tattoo, and uh, just wanted to see how it worked out. So uh, went over and. Got something simple done because I have a much bigger idea for it, but that'll come later on down the road. But uh, if I can, it's still pretty fresh. I know the M could have been done a little bit better, but Mogwai fear is Satan, and there's a lot of meanings behind it. Just um, go with it, but it's just a smaller portion of a bigger part of the picture that's about to happen here soon. I felt the addiction, you know. Uh, I was told by a friend, he was like, dude, he's like, you're going to get addicted to this, I just know you are, man. He's like, why would I, you know, like, I'm not even that big of a fan of pain and shit, you know. But, uh, fucker just, the fucker just started tattooing and shit. Yeah, but uh, tomorrow, though, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. Tomorrow is, um, not only September 11th, but it, uh, it's also my father's birthday. He died back in 2005. Um, and he will always be missed. And yeah, his birthday is September 11th. He would be 46 years old uh, on September 11th. So, uh, rest in peace, Dad. I miss you. So, yeah. Um, it's fucking A. <laughs> so, I want to get a tattoo. In memory of my father and my mother as well and um, remembering the happy days because there wasn't too many happy days for my mother especially before she passed she missed him every day of her life it ended up, it ended up killing her <laughs> broken heart um, <coughs> so <coughs> we'll look at a tattoo <coughs> in resemblance I mean in remembrance in resemblance <coughs> in remembrance of my my mother and father um and my mom was born on St. Patrick's Day, so I'll probably wait until St. Patrick's Day to do something for her. It's funny <laughs> how uh, <coughs> how that works. <clears throat> my mom has a birthday on a holiday, and my dad has a birthday on a, a horrible holiday. <laughs> it is what it is. So, you never forget, um, shout out the Jim, Jim I. Riley, lost a, a cousin in the buildings, so, uh, cheers to, cheers to Jim, and you got your family and, and thoughts and, and hearts, for sure, so, um, man, yeah, and Anybody who lives up there in New York, fucking A. And, uh. Oh, uh, on another note. Let the fucking Muslims build a fucking mosque. Okay? Just let them do it. Let the Muslims build a fucking mosque, okay? If they want to the fucking do it two blocks from World Trade Center, so what? They can do that. That is their constitutional right to do so. Alright? It's not. It's not on that fucking place. It's not on ground zero. <laughs> I 
think it's bullshit, to be honest with you, that someone's going to hate against it that much. Um, a lot of people are in disagreement and they don't want it. They're, they just don't. But I think that, I think as, as a country and as the way that we were built, we, we have every bit of reason to allow them to do so. It's their religion, it's their freedom. So I'm not, I'm not hating it at all. <laughs> Matter of fact, who gives a shit? So what, you know, I understand we're being lied and we're being manipulated. I understand that, but just the best thing is, it's just fucking, if you can't do anything about it, then shut the fuck up about it. And guess what, in this country nowadays, there's really not much that you can do, unfortunately. Time will come, though, I'm sure. So anyway, guys. September 11th. Cheers.